Can't believe I haven't gone around to selling that yet. I'd really rather sell that potion. Come on, there's gotta be something. Something useless that I'm carrying around that's... Okay, that's only worth 30, so I guess I'll drop it. Okay, this is where Axe... Uh, split. Axe Swinger was standing, but nothing else seems to be there. Not really. That <laughs> spawned right in front of him, or right inside him, actually. That's teamwork. Kind of. Uh, take the key. Spoiled cure poison. Ugh. Not very good, I have to say. I'll take the money, though. Gold and a key. No, well, not bad. Sal tree, so I'll only take that if I see something that has restore health in the area. Oh yeah, decoded package. Can't believe I haven't read this yet. Um, Spymaster Caius Casades, Knight Errant of the Imperial Order of Blades, Director of Imperial Intelligence in Vardenfell District, or er, Vardenfell District, Eastern Provinces. I have the honor to acquaint you with His Majesty's wishes concerning Zeros, an individual with, of no rank or consequence. Zeros has been released from prison by His Majesty's authority and sent to you with this missive. Zeros is to be entered as a novice in the Imperial Order of the Blades, and is to serve under your absolute authority as you sh shall see fit, except insofar as His Majesty's particular wishes are concerned. His Majesty's particular wishes are as follows. A local superstitions holds that an orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents, shall unite all the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, and shall re-establish the ancient laws and customs of the Dark Elven nations. This orphan and outcast is called in legend the Nereverine, and is supposed to be a reincarnation of the long-dead general and first counselor, Lord Inderil Nerevar. Zeros has the appearance of meeting the conditions of this local superstition. Therefore, it is His Majesty's desire that Zeros shall, insofar as it is possible, satisfy the conditions of this ancient prophecy and shall become the, the Nereverine. Though this prophecy is indeed only an ancient local superstition, His Majesty has taken counsel on this matter with his most expert informants and confidence, and His Majesty is persuaded that the prophecy is genuine and significant, either in its entirety or in its several parts, and he earnestly demands you treat this matter with the utmost seriousness. Certain aspects of this ancient superstition are described at the end of this document, and further materials will be forthcoming by the courier <coughs> at the earliest occasion. It will of course be necessary that you acquaint yourself better with the details of this ancient superstition from your local sources. Since this matter intimately concerns Zeros, it is expected that you will employ him to gather information on this subject. His Majesty has taken a great personal interest in the legends and prophecies of the Nereverine, and eagerly awaits reports of your reports. A waste report. What? 
awaits reports your reports. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on. I have the honor to be, sir, your most humble and obedient service. servant. Glabrio Belenius, personal secretary to the Emperor. Ah, well, ain't that nice. Emperor's got a secretary. And there's nothing in it. Ooh, what's this? Ring of Firestorm. Not terribly useful, but it's worth some money. Let's see, we did like brandy, restore willpower. Rising force, pearl. So gem, money. Take it all. See, I've read this before, so I, and it's not worth a whole lot, so I can safely drop it. And I know the perfect spot. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I could have picked that lock and leveled up security. Whatever. Okay, let's just let all these slaves free, because screw slavery. Yes, our guest. Well, not persuasion. Wrong thing, okay. Yes, our guest. Ah, it's not what I'm trying to click. You honor me. Please speak. And there's nothing else back here. Blessed we are. You honor me. Too bad they're not worth more money. Otherwise, I'd probably take them and sell them. The braces, of course. Okay. Well, that was kind of uneventful. Not really a whole lot here. Ah, that is the exit. It was kind of hidden by a corpse. Now too low. What a waste. Still too low. Oh no, actually that one hit. Whoa, critical damage. That's a little out of nowhere. Oh, and there's another one. Oh yeah, I'm still going the right way. Oh, that's right, it's a on touch spell. Alright then, come closer. Oh, huh, well that actually is kind of useful. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I think I'll keep this.
And there's that shipwreck they mentioned. Or, yeah, that guy mentioned. The blighted. Good thing I didn't contract any of it. Well, then again, I've got cure blight potions, so it wouldn't have been all that bad if I did. Hmm, this one's a ship, or the shipwreck is on land. So I could probably actually uh, explore it pretty easily. In fact, let's do just that. Well, man, I think you should have taken this potion. You'd probably still be alive if you, if you had. I don't have any spells of... No, I don't have any spells that could create any light, so I guess I'll just have to equip a torch. Ooh! Shard bolt. I'm guessing those are bolts. Well, the name suggests that. <laughs> of course. Um, well, what to get rid of? Now to the lower levels of the ship. I suppose there is a little water, but not too much. Oh? Hey, what are undead doing on the ship? You're not allowed to be here. Should have kept that uh, marshmallow. I made another restore health. Oh well, too late now. And of course, the next thing I check has the marshmallow, so I could have, still could have made one. Or I'll just eat the ingredients and get some of the effect anyway. It's a little dark here. A barrel of pants. No, not the most useful barrel I've found. A fish. Iron Tanto, not very useful. But surely there's got to be something good here. Not where I wanted to put it. Much better.
So there's really nothing down here. Man, what a waste. Still being attacked. Uh-huh. Glyph Racer. What is this ring I've got it's equipped again? Chameleon ring. Ah, oh, you can't see me anymore. Kinda, of, somehow. How am I not hitting it? There we go. Okay, a shipwreck at the sea mouth is a landmark. Swim east around the headland. Ah. Hitting wrong buttons everywhere. Okay, so I do have to swim. be attacked by fish, of course. Do I have a potion to swift swim by any chance? Kinda hope so. Well, I have fortify speed, but I don't really know if that'll work in the water. Water breathing. No, not really. Oh, a Drew. And it's just kind of hanging out back there, so... I guess ignore it for now. Well, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to swim past this, but I want to explore. Possibly find some really good loot, so I'm going to do that instead. Hmm, I think that thing likes fire. Oh, I actually hit that one. Wasn't expecting it.
on that note, I'm going to take a real quick break here and get myself some water. Alright, got some water with a hint of vanilla coffee. And I'm being attacked instantly. I have to pause because I'm about to take a drink. Well, that wasn't too difficult. I can see there being a bit of a problem considering the lack of restore magicka items I have at this point. A dead scamp. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, I'm sure. Hey, I can summon stuff too. That's a peculiar name. <clears throat> Hyarnarenkwar. Well, I'll be taking your arrows now, and this ring. You can keep everything else, it's all worthless. I wonder why my ring was, uh... unequipped. Man, it's dark up here. Well, I seem to have angered somebody. 